people don't respect magic these days. Uh, Rudy, pick a pick a pile. Far right. Okay. Four clubs as you call it, okay? F O U R. O F. C L U B S. What am I doing right now? Spelling four clubs. Magic. M A G I C. Well, last time you spelled Damn, four bro, that's word crazy. magic, and then you. You guys, man. You, you are I stunned. It. Yeah, it's magic. You did. It's, it, it. You did a counting. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, he's counting. Yeah. You're counting you, cards. The, the last time you fully counted out magic and then flipped this, time you know, he, he, over he, on C. So no, like, he's right. C. Let's try that again. Let's let's everyone everyone drop put just flip the card over real quick. Flip, flip the four over, and I want everyone in here to just do the magic reaction. Pretend like he's David Blaine. Wow. <laughs> that's bro. I'll do it. Do it again. I'm gonna sit here till you guys believe me. Yeah. Ace of Diamonds. D I A M O N D S. What am I doing? The hype is the hype is building magic. magic. Yep. Even this. A G I C. spot in town uh locals only where we're about to cop some suits it's like tailored ish uh high end we're about to buy some gear for tonight all right we're at my dogs we just got our shit from our uh very uh tiny boutique that we just hit up now we're about to hit up a local eatery again locals only this is west virginia shit as promised we're hitting up one of the local delicatessens. Only the best here. Let's eat. This is Ayu Ass in the ring now. He's one of the prized, most prized fighters in all of Rough and Rowdy. Also, shout out to Paul, who just helped me learn the camera. He's gonna do great. He's gonna do great. This is my spot for tonight. I'm gonna be glued to the ropes uh, on Frank and Cam in the ring, in the white corner. So keep eyes out for your boy, and hopefully I can stay on the apron and not break the $120,000 camera. Stay tuned, buy rnr.com. Let's go. Uh, they said don't drop it. The one rule, don't drop it. Pete never told me that, but the guy's gear who it is told me that. He told me one time he was working a college basketball game and like Kyrie fell in his lap, and the producer got in his ear, and the first question he asked was, is the camera okay? So honestly, fuck the camera. We're going to get the shot, but we're also going to try to stay alive. Uh, yeah, you're it's deep my guy, game. Spider. He's a man. Let's go. Yeah, you're deep in the game. That's I.E. Ass, one of my favorite fighters in the whole circuit. His name is I.E. Ass, a <laughs> Providence legend. He joined us at Rough and Rowdy in Providence. He was the superstar that came out of that card. And now we get to see him fight again here tonight. You're gonna Looking film him. Looking forward to it. First fight, Skim Dog against Booty Draws. A policeman against a podcaster named Booty Draws who supports defunding the police. <laughs> That's how we fucking start off. Then we're gonna see guys like Woodshed Wizard versus Timmy the Tooth. Mr. Sinister versus Mr. IHOP. The instigator versus Space Monkey, etc., etc., etc. You're gonna see Grumpy Knuckles against Jimmy NASCAR. Fucking <laughs> the Ovarian Barbarian. Fucking Country Hoodlum. It's just, it goes on and on and on. Bobby Lang versus 
Wade, uh, Woodruff Nighty Night is going to be an incredible fight. Wait, what did you the... hear a girl's coming in on a horse? What? A girl's coming in on a horse and they have a contingency plan for if the horse gets crazy, they're going to kill it. <laughs> they have a 3,000 pound tarp that they're going to fucking put just over it and case. drag it out just in case. No. <laughs> yeah. How do you think the mountain's going to go with no fans? I have no idea. I think it's be very strange. Very strange. Like Dan said, they're gonna hear one like, "Oh, that guy's a fat pig." And he's gonna be like, "What'd you say?" Good luck tonight. Good luck. This camera could be worth more than his entire life. <laughs> How much is it worth? Hundred grand? Come on. Maybe. Bro. No shot. Yeah. 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 Hundred grand. Easy. Probably more. <laughs> Go, baby. All you. What? Hey man, get the camera out of my guy's face. He's trying to practice. He's warming up. Hey, what's it? What was it like getting knocked out? What was it like getting knocked out? What was it like getting knocked out? <laughs> What's your All right, I'm ready. Okay, okay. The guy won. The guy won. The guy won. Uh, what was it like knocking out? What was it like knocking? What was it like doing the knocking out? What was no, it like no, doing no. You're close. Keep keep working it. What is it? What, you, what is it like having ni nice knockers? Ni knocking out. Knock knocking out. This episode of Soul Scenes is brought to you by High Noon Hard Seltzer. Listen, we all know the deal. It's the best in the game. It's real vodka. It's real juice. Honestly, I kind of tied one on last night, so I'm gonna do hair of the dog. I'm gonna use high noon pineapple to make me feel better. This weekend, it's gonna be cold outside, it's gonna be raining. Grab yourself a high noon, sit your ass on the couch, watch football, watch it all day tomorrow, all day Sunday, join it. The high noon's are the best, we all know that. You've heard me say it enough. and girls we are back it's been i don't know how long it feels like forever rough and rowdy 12 live charlestown west virginia we got 20 fights for the first time we're doing the play bar stool the play bar stool is an all-encompassing app and inside of the app there's multiple different games there's a stool streams game which came out first an nfl game when the nfl season started and most recently we came out with a rough and rowdy app that coincided with the fights last friday night the last five fights of the night play bar stool app $25,000, you gotta predict every single fight in the rounds, so winners in the rounds. My name is Tom Owens, and I do all of the Rough and Rowdy promos. I've done all the Rough and Rowdy promos for over two years now. I just heard like some chit chat about the Play Barstool thing, and it sort of just reminded me like, oh, maybe I could like do it or whatever, just like for fun. And so I just made my picks real quick before I went to bed. There's nobody on earth that knows more about rough and rowdy fighters than Tom. He's the savant. He studied more footage. He knows more than the guy who fucking founded rough and rowdy. It's gonna be a fun, interesting, weird 20 fight card night. And here we go, first fight in the uh, Corona Shoot. era. This swing right now, good right, good left. Oh, that hurt him though. Strong ring girl. And she's going right in our face. Yep. There's nothing normal about this environment right now. <laughs> oh, come oh, 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 that's going that. walking into a punch. Oh. And here she is at the reset. He is really putting on the dance show here. Yep. You might as well be dancing alone in your room. There yeah. aren't that many people. He's getting no reaction because there's nobody here. Yep. He is still really dancing, dancing, dancing. He has no intention, it looks like, to get to the <laughs> ring anytime soon. He's up the steps, down the steps. Yep. The step. Oh, they're going oh, at each goodness. other right now. No one can land anything because it's belly to belly, literally. Smokey, I need you to go Jeffrey. What does it mean to go Jeffrey? What does that mean? Ask your mother. Oh, 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 oh. oh. And that's it. Oh, here we go. We've got a horse in the ring. Okay. And here comes Gina Lucille, the jockey. Dave. 
What a moment. Dave is speechless. Dave is absolutely <laughs> speechless. All right, I'm so confused. That is a real racehorse that has a real name. When I say that I was stunned, like, I, you're speechless. I don't know what to believe right now. I think Dave might be in love. I may be in love. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing gets a crowd going like a little person fight. Just vicious punches. That's it. I think that's going to be the he difference. He goes down at the bell. I think that's going to be the difference. It took me halfway through those fights to even realize that my picks were correct so far. And going into the last fight, I think there was eight to ten people left. And I turned to Devlin and I'm like, dude, like, I think I got, like, all these fights right except for this one that's going on right now eight people remain and play barstool so wow. that's that's pretty nice we'll see what happens one person got this right they win twenty five thousand dollars wow yeah during the broadcast they were saying that someone's either going to win twenty five thousand dollars if there's a knockout or twenty five thousand dollars if there's a decision goes to decision so someone just won twenty five thousand dollars when the fight ended one person won, so it's like one person won twenty-five thousand dollars. Oh, that's it. There it is. That is it. Twenty-five grand. Someone wow. Just won twenty-five thousand dollars. On the first on the ever Play, play Barstool Rough and Rowdy contest, we have a winner. Thirty-six thousand people played, and one person had every single pick exactly correct. And then all of a sudden, it says twenty-six thousand dollars. You, in all caps. He went ten for ten. You did? I just. Wait, back up. You won it? I just won. Oh my god, Tom won. Tom won the 25 I just won. This guy knows Rough and Rowdy, baby. I am. It was you? Big Cat on the broadcast, uh, Wade, Wade Woodruff was getting interviewed, and all of a sudden you hear Big Cat go, no, no, bro. No, and that's no. True. And my heart sunk, because I just knew. I knew, and as he said that, he texted me and just goes, it was Tom Mullins. Tom no, Mullins? Man. All right. Wait a minute. I was excited as hell because Tom's the man. And if anybody deserves $25,000, it's me. But if anyone else deserves it, it's Tom Mullins. $25,000. Thank you, man. Thank you. The guy that knows the most about Rough and Rowdy, I guess. The video editor of Rough and Rowdy just won. Wait, you got hired? He got hired? I don't know. 36,000 people signed up and he won. Bro, no one knows Rough and Rowdy better than Tom Mullins, bro. This guy's fucking, uh, he's the one, bro. I'm gonna be happier. No, there's no one more deserving than Tom. Dead ass. Thank you. Tom's so funny because he's such a nice guy. And so I went up to him and I was like, dude, how are you feeling about this? And he was like, well, good because I won the $25,000, but bad because I picked against all the fighters who are my closest friends. Shout out to all the fighters that even if I bet against you, are like some of my closest rough and rowdy friends, so I'm sorry, Shizat and Wade Woodruff, I'm sorry. He didn't care about the money, he cared about fracturing his relationships, uh, but he didn't have to worry because he wasn't getting the money anyway. <laughs> How do you feel? I don't feel like it's real, to be honest. <laughs> that's because it, your your it's not. <laughs> <laughs> that's because it's legally it's not. <laughs> yeah, we'll figure out with him, that's like a later issue, like we'll figure out something with him, but it's like he can't win that contest. People that think it's rigged, people that think we told five, ten fighters total exactly what to do and what round and all that shit, like, you are fucking crazy. It's an, it's an insane thing to be able to predict that. I mean, it, I guess it, he did watch every, but then again, everyone else could have watched it. Yeah. He, he just, cut, he cut him off. Go back to my hotel room and I check Twitter and I just see this complete outpouring of love from people that I work with saying that I deserve the money like outright, no matter what or whatever, just based off my work ethic and everything like that. And just knowing that I was so appreciated for working so hard in general, no, just wait. meant a lot. Another successful trip. This weekend, by the way, only time this is happening, so this is a special one weekend only. Usually you have to go 10 for 10 in NFL picks and pick your Monday night score. This weekend you only have to go 8 for 8. So that's four times more likely, you're four times more likely to win. So far I think we've had 96 people have made it to Monday night, so 96 of you have gone 10 for 10 so far. Statistically, I was told by the, you know, the people that run the numbers, people that do that shit, that someone would win the first five weeks. So statistically, someone's due. We're making it even easier this week. All you have to do is go eight for eight. 
pick your Monday night score, play Barcel app, download it now. Plus, season one of Jenga on Monday, Dave Portnoy is going into the triple S. Starting on November 2nd until December 17th will be season one of Jenga. $10,000 cash for the winner. It's gonna get heated. We've seen some rivalry, some fierce battles, but now they're gonna be playing each other multiple times. It's gonna get fun, it's gonna get ugly. If you've enjoyed Jenga, that's nothing. What we've had so far is nothing compared to what we're about to have. Part of the challenge that like you like you picked no, it. So we're gonna say this is the honey crisp. At the end we're gonna make that was honey well, crisp. I think when you do it, I'm gonna write them in order, but so people can see each one, you're gonna have to put like I'll be blindfolded, like what that so people can see the apple. So I should get like mini brown bags with the name on it. So the apple should be out. Um That's what I'm saying, like if I get a brown bag and one side says honey crisp, but the blank side's facing you. You'll pull, like, let's say I get a brown bag and the side facing the camera says, like, honey crisp on it, but you, your side of the bag shows nothing. You just pull the apple out and we'll what see. What about just, like, almost like a note card? Like, oh, you can do a note card, yeah, sure. Like I'm that. just trying to think of, like, how I'm gonna, how I'm gonna know which ones they are when I pick them up. I guess just, well, like, separate bags. Have to do something there. I okay. did look, the honey cr I bought honey crisp yesterday. It said honey crisp on it. I don't know if everyone has a little okay. sticker. Uh, let me, I'm gonna go, you probably don't have to be there. You gotta get like one of, there's a million of them. Well, there's like, yeah, it's like. Granny Smith. Granny Smith. Um, Granny Smith, there's like 30 different types of apples. But you gotta be blindfolded, right? Correct, yeah. How many apples do you want? All <laughs> There's no way you're gonna know which one of Honeycrisp is when you have 20 apples. I think I will. It's that much better. <laughs> it's gonna be like an unbiased ranking of apples. Alright, I'll go, yeah, I'll go get it. You gotta make sure you pick good ones, too. What What do you consider a good apple? No bruises. Okay. How are we going to know which apple's which when we get in there? Like It'll say. They have signs. The problem is that once you get the apple out of the store, you have need to, to bring mark a marker with it. Yeah, you need to... Well, you can't put a marker on it. No, on the bag. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to need to get like a, one of those little bags. Or like a sticky note. Well, Dave tweeted out that like honey crisps are the best apples in the world. And I guess people are chirping him like, no, they're not. And he's going to do his challenge where he sees or he shows that he has a palate unlike any other human being on this earth that he could tell out of a, an abundance of 20 apples which one the honey crisp is the best. I just went apple picking for the first time in my life and now I'm, for my job, going to a Whole Foods to pick apples for a major video for our boss. I feel like I'm, I'm in a simulation. Like I, I haven't thought about apples in six years and now apples have consumed my last 48 hours. <laughs> There'll probably be like six different apples. There's no way there's 20 apples. And then how are you gonna arrange them in front of them? I have no clue. <laughs> no fucking clue. All right, we got the bag. We prepared the bagioli, as the children say. Um, how many apples? I don't know, bro. We got, how many apples do you think we got in there? 15 apples? Half these apples people don't even know about. They're like New York random ass apples. Too many apples. How many apples are there? 19, 16 apples. All right, yeah, You're not perfect. gonna know much one. You're gonna be like three. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to, after I do it, have a ranking. Like after I put an apple, I gotta put a line, you know? Like so they're in order. The definitive apples. This guy keeps messaging me about the perfect ball shaver. He says your nuts will be, he emails me every day, your nuts will be cleaner than your baby face. Why you? I love ball shavers. All right, all business Pete. All balls Pete. So I'm doing the apples, they're all gonna be here. And then I'll just like, in front. Okay. Sweet. Kinda looks like aesthetically pleasing with the apples. How are we gonna walk them in? can't obviously see it. Last time Marina- The blindfolded last, from his office. Last time Marina had to escort him and it was like that whole, that took a while just to get him over here. Willie is the one of the biggest guys I know. He's allergic to oranges. I sit next to him. I'm the second biggest guy I know. I'm allergic to apples. This is deadly to me. Yeah, allergic to apples. I mean, if they're cooked, I can eat them. Like, so I can eat apple pies and, you know, processed apple juices. But if I go apple picking with the kids and they have that fresh pressed cider, 
It's fucking poison in a glass. Wow. Curtains for you, if you yeah, have yeah. it. Yeah, but I'm still here. I mean, they throw around the word hero, but. <laughs> You're gonna have to like. Are you good with? Are you good? tweeted out if you didn't eat honey crisp apples during apple picking season you're an asshole it's the best apple by a mile um and obviously led to some discussion and i said Look, fuck it we'll do a blind test test went to whole foods got every apple they have apples you never heard of apples you didn't know existed and i'm gonna just i don't know them all but i'm gonna just rank them in order of best taste to worst taste my guess is honey crisp will end number one and this will be the definitive apple picking review of all time. I don't know how it's ever been done. So let's go. I don't like what that one is. I did it, didn't I? You did what? You did what? What's that? That's a Kanzi. <laughs> That's Honey Crisp. I picked Hanzi one. Yeah, Honey Crisp is six now because you moved him back. That was the Honey Crisp. Yeah, you picked it like seven. You only went down to lap. Yeah. Listen, there's only one way to figure things out. You learn things about your life and everything. So. To be fair, number one's pretty damn close to uh, Honeycrisp. Yeah, it is. Try 16 apples. I thought I thought I nailed it when I looked at it. Even tasting them next to each other, they're like, hard to tell the difference. That's pretty damn close. Yeah, how was that uh, ranking system? Well, he went from one, and then he'd be like two, and then he'd be like, well, this is now two, so you just assume everything gets shifted down the line. Yeah. Let's, uh, so just like write this on the right, like definitive rank. Very hard. Kanzi one. One second. Kanzi one. Let me just move the. You'll also be able to tell in the video if we got it wrong. Yeah. I think. Going with the scruff for the show. So I'm uh, I'm gonna grow it out and see what happens. I, I grow it I grow it out. Every, I love the scruff. Once every couple of years. I think the scruff looks see. awesome. Well, I want to go plug it. My people say the scruff plays, so I don't know. By people you mean you. You two do meet the definition of people. But we're, we're the number. <laughs> we are two people. We are the number one in two people that told you that we like it. Like if you're weighing. Multiple people. That but if that. if you're weighing the options of yeah. who's told you. Yeah. Don't you put me and Dan at the top of the list? I'd say uh, to power power rankings. Uh, you and Dan number one and two. Bailey Carlin number you three. Your wife on that? My wife hates it. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah. So she so hates. Dan it. and I are more important than your wife. There are moments, yeah. Just depends on how things are going at home. Sometimes you grow it out. Sometimes you don't. Sorry, Mrs. Walker. Just know that if I come in with a clean shaven face one morning, I had a good night the night before. I just, I like to grow it out and see what it looks like. It comes in gray, that's the problem. When it gets to like two or three weeks, it's straight gray. Yeah, gray that's cool. That's Gray's cool. not a great look. Yes, it is. No. Scruff, is scruff is a fine look. If it comes gray, like I need to have a beard that looks like his hair, like that. But mine turns gray, and that's what that I think. a lot. <laughs> what? <laughs> He said he first, hears that a lot. Not the first time I've heard that. <laughs> hmm. Listen, this is what you do when you pull out all the stops. When you are all fucking in, there's nothing out of bounds. When your mind's going tick, 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 and there's not really anything in here, it's like little chickens, like little chickens. If I crack my head, you say like little chickens go out. The mastermind. Just when you thought you've seen it all, 
Dion on Stu's 29-year-old body. Dion Sanders never looked as good as me. I don't give a fuck he's the greatest athlete ever. He didn't eat no carbs for three years, green vegetables and fish. He never fucking did. He never was 100%. I was. Look. Dion looks better on my body than Dion looks on his. Think about that. Now, Caleb, hot. He looks great, but he looks better on my body than his body. And he fucking quarterback for North Carolina. Nothing on me. The most beautiful woman in the world. If she jumped, went to a man. That's fucking Erica. That's the CEO. It's CEO and STU squished together. Here you go. Now, look. Dave would kill for this body. Okay? He would fucking kill. He would fucking die. He'd give up $100 million in stock to look like this. Look how good he looks. Seriously, look at that. And if Big Cat wasn't born to be on my body, instead of looking like a Wisconsin lineman, he would, look at this, he'd give me his kid. He'd give me his first fucking born. Literally, look how good he looks. What else you gotta say? I'm coming in hot, I'm ready to fucking roll. I'm honored, grateful, blessed to be alive, to be associated with the greatest company in the world. Love, kisses, salutations. Ready to roll! This is the women slayer outfit. Normally, when I walk in a place like this, women just drop their drawers, start fingering themselves, and just bend over. That's how it works. Listen, he who wears the cross. Here we go! Listen, here we go. And here, $1,800 on me? Yes. Put him behind. Okay. okay, behind. Okay. First of all, first of all, I just want to say something. What are you actually guys missing in life? You're missing in life. <laughs> you're missing in life. <laughs> <laughs> like Deion Sanders. First two. of all, look at Stu's body. Oh, no. Miss CEO. No, no, that's How gorgeous does she look on my body? That's too far. Dave, do you see that one? No, no, that's no, too that's far. Too How good do you look? A good level. <laughs> okay, thank you. I just want to say this. Look at Dave. Look how good he looks. Give me a, yeah, and all right, then, so what does that have to do with your pick? And then last but not least, because I'm showing you when I was thin, look at Dave Cat! Yeah. No, wait, hold it now. Look, I, I mean, good. come on now. I, I mean, that's a sexy guy. So here we go. Puppet time. <laughs> Turn it into a circus. But here we go. Look at these puppets. I spent 1,500 bucks on puppets. <laughs> Cleveland Browns! First sport of luck of the year! Cleveland Browns! <laughs> you, you, you love him. No. Why did you <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> no! 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 I love them. I love my friends. Oh, yeah. I love my friends. I'm the puppet. By the way, so I don't think anyone. Uh, you can't look at yourself. Just take a look at this. You look amazing. <laughs> it's you. It's not me. It's you. No, you're saying you look amazing. You're literally. No, no, I know I look amazing. I was amazing. I remember this. 1989, 90, 91, 92. I was running the marathon under three hours. And I pulled my groin all four Doing times. too much cocaine. No, I was squeaky clean. I was always doing pot. I didn't drink. From 88 to 95, I was squeaky clean. Seven years of nothing. Zero. Nothing. I love you. It's an honor. God, God bless you. You're the best. This is like the greatest day of my fucking life. I just want you to know that. So you wouldn't throw up while you're eating. I made you look good. That's my 29. I didn't eat no sugar. <laughs> I didn't eat no sugar or no carbs for three years. Green vegetables and fucking fish. Three years. Se uh, uh, 70 miles a week. Uh, seven minute mile. Uh, 10 miles a day. Just trying to be fair. Fair and objective. That's my goal. Fair, right down the middle. Okay. Make sure everyone stays under control. Mm -hmm. So thank you again. I'm just honored to be here. You're the best. Just come like, and I'll come to the ranch anytime you need to hang yeah. with or whatever. <laughs> Carry your bed, your water, whatever. I'll film you. Make your Fruit Loops. Now, you like Fruit Loops better than Captain Crunch? I'm not a Captain Crunch guy. No? Your Fruit Loops? I'm a Fruit Loops uh, Frosted Flakes. Yeah. Oh, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up, and then I'm going to kick it to you guys for opening comments, okay?
and I'll be deciding who goes when with this coin. Welcome to the 2020 flatness debate. Today we will be debating whether or not the most entertaining athlete of all time, Deion Sanders, is even entertaining at all. Deion, you want to start us off? I would love to. How you doing? I'm Prime. That's it. My position on Dion is this, okay? And let me explain something extremely, perfectly clear. Dion's ball, when you're talking, Dion Sanders, the ball is beyond Jesus, beyond Moses, beyond the moon, beyond the universe, beyond the galaxy. So when I watch Dion, I want to be like this. I want to be like, oh my God, this is... Deion Sanders! Now, when I watch him on the NFL show, this is what I do. Just because you raise your voice does not constitute that you're right. We're taking over the world! The world! I really hey, don't sign me up for this crazy dude! <laughs> <laughs> it's an honor. I, it's an honor. I can't say it. Still, Still killed it. Give me the greatest. Nobody Listen, I want to pinch myself right now. It was an honor. Uh, I didn't mean to put him in a body bag. You know, I, he's, an, he's the greatest guy ever in person. He's electric. He's flat on shows. He's flat on camera. I don't know what to do. But I would die for him right now. I would, die, I would put my life on the line and die for him. I did put him in a body bag. That's what I do. I put people in body bags. If I could put Portnoy in a body bag, sure as fuck, I could put Dion in a body bag. Is that real Versace? No. Be cool if it was, though. I know. Perhaps. And it's like I have enough probably clout where people are like it's definitely real. Well, you could, yeah, you could afford Versace. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, yes. right, like I would wear a real Versace like sweatshirt. Yeah. I would have said it was real if you didn't say that. Just definitely. yeah. You would wear a fake. Also, it's like not ugly, so like you, that's why you would think it's yeah real Versace. They should make it. It's fucking fire. Like a Rose Bowl Versace really? sweatshirt. That's the thing. It's like those like high end fashion brands don't ever do sports stuff. It, it is from a um, like trendy <laughs> like store, but it's well, I think it was like fifty bucks. It wasn't. You see, I'm getting fucking dragged by fucking um, our fucking bald fuck cheap ass friend. <laughs> There's this website, there's a gossip website that just posts shit about me, 99% of it's not true, but they posted yesterday. Bald fuck? Yeah. Who's bald? You know one bald guy, right? Gaz? Yes. Dave, so, so this was on the thing. Dave versus commercials? I'm like, that's total bullshit, but Gaz does that. And I know he that- He sends those in? No. I know oh, one he, time at my Nantucket <laughs> house, he was on the Ox and like commercials <laughs> started. And I was like, yes, what the fuck? And so the, like someone actually put sent that in? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are you... What is it? Dave Portnoy refused to pay Spotify, so he listened to Pandora with commercials. I know that's gas. That's because so he was at my house on Ox and commercials came on. And I was like, what the fuck? And he's like, ah, Pandora, I have commercial, I don't want to pay for it. And someone says me. That's can't have that. I, I got can't have that. I got 100, 200 messages. That website must be bit. Like whenever I'm on, I get inundated. Yo, is it is it, is it Dumont? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yo, I'm on there that, every day. That page is crazy. One day, someone else showed me that, and then I followed it that day. And then you were on it. And I'm I on like, every day. I was like, Yo, what the fuck? That's the one that it was like dating completely the, unrelated. Dating the they have some wild shit on the there. Housewives. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's true. Well, I mean, it's not. Like the fact that they, uh, people mm -hmm. are actually concerned that yeah. Dave has ads playing on Pandora. Mm -hmm. I would be concerned. It's <laughs> well, a concerning no, know, thing. It is. Well, it's a yeah, that would game. be like, like the pen stock would go down if that was actually <laughs> yeah. true. Yeah. Like Dave Portnoy, penny pinching? <laughs> yeah. No, Fucking think... gas. <laughs> At first I was like, that's totally made up. And then I was like, actually, somebody was definitely there and it's Paul. But I was the one, I, I was mortified when commercials came on. <laughs> Imagine being at like a party and commercials yeah, go on. Yeah, that's the <laughs> yeah. cheapest move of all time. Such a He's poor just move. sitting there chewing his gum like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> fucking asshole. What's up, Dion? What's up, sir? How's it going? 
There goes my boss. What's going on, boss man? What's going what on? What you up, baby? Think, well, she will see. Yeah, he, 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 he had some no, Versace. I got a question. Rose Bowl Versace. 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 Yeah. 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 You got it. Rose Bowl. You got to be hot right now. I, I did read something about what you said about uh, your team. Pitchers? Yeah. <laughs> COVID? Yeah. You said something. You were blaming it on something. I mean, it's, I mean, it's a worldwide pandemic. You know, there's 31 other players dealing with the same thing in the NFL, right? Yeah. So, when you're when you're used to a routine, you're the best at that routine, and then you get thrown into a pandemic. Maybe teams that are not used to it, who are used to chaos and anarchy, benefit from the lack of discipline and lack of practice. Mm. Everything like that. How uh, how about them, Cal? I don't care about them. That was the worst. Thing ever. Oh, oh, oh! Well, you gotta see my take on it. Your teams have no. You gotta see my Falcons take and Cowboys have two. Wins. No, not my teams. This one's fun though. They're, they're, they're your teams. I, when I they have win. Wait, Can you give me San Francisco. Wait. Can you give me San Francisco? I right, fine. Yeah, but you gotta add Florida State. I want them too. That was a good one. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> so you're what? Got like four wins total. This no. happened when we were in Florida for like that whole month, and. Uh, we would have people over and I'd play Pandora and every third thing there would be like a commercial and people would get pissed off and I was like, I'm not breaking. But I eventually got bullied off and I paid for it now. I don't pay for Spotify. I don't have Spotify. I'm Pandora. I'm a Pandora guy. So you do have premium? I have premium Pandora now, but up until June, I did not. I, I listened to commercials. So do you feel like any sort of obligation to like let the media outlets know that you were... Well, I feel right like now, we're doing right? that. I feel like we're doing that right now. But, okay, fair enough. Yeah, right. But uh, now. no, I was. Not, I don't feel an obligation to let anyone know about that. It's a private matter. I don't see a problem. <laughs> Gives us the look. I know. I see yeah. it. Blew a kiss. Yeah. I'm in love. Yeah. Gave me a wink and a kiss. I just see this cute guy. I mean, of course you have blown a kiss. Would like you like her? Well, I mean, I do. I was yeah. very yeah. clear with that. Yeah. I'm smitten a little bit.